Iraq forces repel as counterattack in battle for Mosul. Iraqi forces have repelled counterattacks by so-called Islamic State is, as they push the group into a corner of Mosul's old city. Is deployed large numbers of suicide bombers in different parts of the northern city but the affected areas were quickly brought under control, Iraqi officials say. The Iraqi offensive to remove is from the city is in its final phase. The operation to retake Mosul, seized by is in 2014, began last October. The government announced the liberation of the eastern half in January 2017, but the west of the city, with its narrow streets, has proved more difficult. Nevertheless, is is now confined to 2.5 square kilometers, a square mile, of territory. Iraqi forces were just 600 meters away from accomplishing their mission, Police Commander Lt. Gen. Rajadat said. At least two was counterattacks were reported on Sunday night. The Baghdad-based Kurdish Shafak News Agency reported three attacks by the group in western Mosul, in al Danak, Raj Hadid and al Yarm districts. Residents' houses were set on fire, the agency said. What is clear is that these are the dying days of Izin Mosul. There has been a strong uptick in the Iraqi government offensive in recent days. There were 20 airstrikes on Sunday, with helicopter gunships pounding his targets and a great deal of mortar fire. Counterattacks by is involving suicide bombers were dealt with swiftly. His fighters are pinned down in a corner of the old city. It was expected that the last few yards of this conflict would be the hardest in an area where battle hardened, largely foreign jihadists have dug in with defenses including tunnels. One soldier from the forces we have been filming with said they had faced 80 suicide bombers in four days. Tens of thousands of civilians are believed to remain trapped in the old city. As for the number of his fighters still there, estimates from the Iraqi military and analysts vary from 200 to 350. The increasing pressure on his comes less than a week after the group blew up the city's Al Nuri Mosque and its landmark Crooked Minaret. Prime Minister Haider al Abadi said the destruction of the mosque, which was more than 800 years old, was an official declaration of defeat by his. The mosque was the scene of his leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi's only public appearance, when he demanded allegiance to his caliphate in July 2014. The offensive against Izin Mosul, the group's biggest and last urban stronghold in Iraq, was launched on October 17, 2016. Thousands of Iraqi security forces, Kurdish Peshmerga fighters, Sunni Arab tribesmen and Shia militiamen, assisted by U.S.-led coalition warplanes and military advisors, have been deployed. Follow eyewitness Sally Becker, aid worker. I was just a couple of streets away from one of these counterattacks. We had about 20 bodies, Iraqi soldiers, here yesterday and many more injured. In fact the trauma stabilization point, TSP, is full of soldiers right now. A brigadier arrived with a bullet in his neck yesterday afternoon and it was shortly after that everything went a bit crazy. There were cars set alight and roads were closed. According to sources here, about 20 jihadists escaped from the old city and popped up a couple of blocks from our TSP. In addition to this, the jihadist snipers have night vision goggles which meant the Iraqi army could only move very slowly. It's definitely calmed down a bit now, although between about 5 and 7 this morning it was pretty full on.